Guys, today I am going to share a controversial video. This is one that I am, out of all of the ones I've made so far, I'm most excited about this. And the reason I'm so excited about it is because so many people get it wrong. Like 90% of people get it wrong. People are spending so much money going to clinics, getting NAD plus IV therapy sessions. They're getting injections. They're taking it orally sublingually and it's not doing what they think it's doing. They're getting minimal benefits from what they think they're doing because people here in NAD plus, they see some influencers talk about it. They don't actually read the science. They don't actually read through the studies. So they don't actually know the biology of how it works. And then they end up just getting screwed. But I'm going to be showing you guys today the hidden fat burn switch inside your cells that you don't need to go get these IV injections for. I'm going to show you how to actually meaningfully increase your NAD plus levels, which if you don't know why you need to, you're about to learn in this video. And at the end of the day, the reason why we do any of this is because we want longevity, we want to be healthy, and we want our metabolisms and our bodies to work in a healthy way, the way it's supposed to. And I spent the first three and a half months of my weight loss journey starting in April, focusing on creating calorie deficits just by eating less. And I got off of that. It's been now about four or four and a half months. And my focus has been how to be able to create the energy gap, not by eating less, but by burning more and not just through exercise. Yes, I work out. Yes, I exercise every day, but how we can burn more just by having a faster metabolism, by having a more efficient, I don't even know if I like the word faster, but a more efficient metabolism that is just craving to burn your fat for energy. That is what so many people are missing. That's what I was missing for so long. So let's get right into it. But before we do, as always, I have to give a little disclaimer here. I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice. This presentation is for education and entertainment purposes only. I am uh, just an idiot in a muscle tee right now who doesn't even have that big of muscles, who uh, has messed up hair because he got back from the gym. So anything that I say, you need to go to... Wherever you go to verify facts and verify it for yourself. And if your feelings get hurt because maybe you've been paying money and you're like, no, 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 I know that this works because I felt it. Well, let me tell you, I'm so sorry to say this. You're feeling the wrong thing. You might have, I, I agree, you might have felt some positive effects if you're taking NAD plus, but it's not the ones that we're talking about today. And you are only getting, you're scratching the surface of benefits. So, and, and they fade really quick. You're not raising your NAD plus levels in any meaningful way. What is that fat burning switch? It is a buzzword that everyone throws around mitochondria. You see, mitochondria is your cellular fat burn engines. The more mitochondria that you have, the more fat you burn. Mitochondria dies. Mitochondria is created. It's constantly being replaced. But if you have a lot of mitochondria in your cells, you have more energy, higher metabolism, better endurance, and you're going to have 24-7 fat burning. Now, every cell contains these tiny little furnaces that convert food into energy or fat into energy. So you could put it on your underwear. More mitochondria equals more fat burn. And this explains why two people can eat identical meals have the same calorie intake, and have completely different results. They have a difference in their mitochondria density. And although there are other things that play into this, such as hormones, thyroid, etc., this is a big one. And it's one that needs to be tackled if you have it, because it is the secret to fat loss if you are struggling to burn fat. You need more mitochondria. How do you get more mitochondria? If you focus on that, you will naturally start burning more. And then you can start losing weight, not by eating a ton of uh, a huge restrictive diet, but by eating in a mild deficit and just burning more calories naturally. Or maybe you're not trying to lose weight. Maybe you just want to increase your metabolic efficiency so that way you can eat more without gaining weight. This is going to be beneficial for anyone. So, Let's get into this a little bit deeper. AMPK is the thing that needs to be activated. It is the fat burning master switch, your body's built in fuel sensor, and it needs to be activated in order for mitochondria 
for new mitochondria to be built. When it's activated, it literally tells your cells, we need more energy, start burning fat, build new mitochondria. Okay, so this is, uh, we're working backwards from the new mitochondria being created because as we do this, you're going to start seeing the chains, the links in this chain that have to be put into place in order for you to be able to create new mitochondria because it's going to make sense why we need what we need. And then it's going to make the solution make so much more sense to you. But so far, in order for us to get new mitochondria, we need AMPK to be activated. So how do we do this? Well, the controller of AMPK is CERT1. CERT1 acts as the foreman, deciding when AMPK gets the green light to be activated. Now, if you have low CERT1, your AMPK stays dormant. If you have low MPK, your mitochondria is, remains sparse. And the result is that you have minimal fat burning. So CERT1 is the gatekeeper to your entire fat loss system. So if you want to burn fat, you need CERT1 active. What activates CERT1? Just one crucial molecule, and it's the one that every marketing company is latching onto and med spas, et cetera, to take your hard-earned money and try to make you feel like you're doing something incredible for your body that fades within just a short amount of time, NAD+. NAD plus is the molecule that activates CERT1. So it could be said that the more NAD plus you have, the uh, more likely or the higher your CERT1 is going to be, which means you're going to have AMPK active, which means you're going to get more mitochondria. That's how we go back in the chain here. So think about this. High NAD plus, high CERT1, high AMPK, high mitochondria, high fat burn. This seems simple, right? Well, there's a problem here because many people might think, well, if NAD plus is this big spark plug in this chain of events, then I should just take more NAD plus, right? No. Here's the problem is that NAD plus cannot enter your cells. It is too large, too, in, uh, too electrically charged even to cross the cell membrane. That is a scientific fact. Go look it up if you don't agree with me. But I took NAD+. Plus. I took it nasally and I feel different. Yes, you felt different. Not for the right reasons. Uh, I, I get the IV. I got more energy. Yes, you did. But it didn't go inside your cells. What happens is this. All NAD+, plus, whether it's an IV, nasal, oral, sublingual, it stays on the outside of your cells. And you have this temporary surface receptor activation but the effects fade within like 48 hours. And a lot of people have had negative side effects of this because you basically have NAD plus floating around in your bodily fluids until your body decides to do away with it. So it fails because it never actually increases your intracellular NAD plus. CERT1 remains inactive and your fat burning machinery stays off. So then here's the question. How do we raise NAD plus inside the cell? where it activates CERT1, which is going to give the green light to AMPK, which starts creating this new mitochondria, which gives us the fat burn. Well, the answer to this is we got to remove the roadblocks. The roadblock is an enzyme called NNMT, and your body builds NAD plus from vitamin three, nicotinamide. But there is a hidden bottleneck here. And what happens is this, the enzyme, it destroys your B3 supply before your body can use it for NAD+. Because what happens is NN, NM, it's a tongue twister, NNMT methylates the B3. It just converts it to waste. Well, when this happens, it removes it from the NAD plus pathway, which blocks the building blocks to actually get things moving. So then your entire system just shuts down and the fat burning just halts or becomes very, very minimal. So the first problem we have here is that even high quality foods don't fix it. So if NNMT is elevated, you can eat all the B3 you want. You can take NMN, all of these things, but most of it's going to get destroyed before it's ever used. In fact, in research, uh, mice and humans 
that have high NNMT are more prone to things such as cancer as well and elevated. It's overactive as well as obesity because it's blocking the majority of your body's ability to burn fat in the first place. So think about this, even NMN, which is a building block to NAD plus can't bypass it. It helps marginally. So some people say, yeah, just take the precursors. It will help, but NNMT will still reduce the upstream B3 supply needed for NAD plus production. So it doesn't really solve the problem. Now you might be wondering, well, if we block NNMT, uh, or what are the downsides to it? Well, you don't block it completely. And the solution I'm going to share with you in a minute only blocks it probably like 70 to 80%. It's not a full block. It still allows it to be there. But there are other ways to regulate the B3 and to get rid of it. The body has a lot of redundant systems in place to be able to get rid of that waste that we don't need it. In fact, there are way more harmful effects by having elevated levels of NNMT, which how do you know? If you're obese, you probably have NNMT. If you find that you have a slow metabolism, you probably have elevated levels of it, overactive. And then the problem number three here is as we age and uh, as we are heavier, you know, our weight increases, which is the people who need it the most, that's when we, all, we have really elevated levels of it. So now we have this uphill battle because we have less mitochondria than the thin person or the younger person who is burning, eating the same thing and burning it much quicker. So let's just look at this complete fat loss puzzle here, just to kind of make this all make sense. More mitochondria means that we're going to have more fat burning engines. And then I'm going to get into a few things. We get more mitochondria by having AMPK activation, which is the master switch. We get the green light from AMPK from CERT1 by keeping that elevated and active. We keep that active by having high levels of NAD plus in our systems. That is the spark plug that sets it all off. In order to have NAD+, we need the vitamin B3, the building block for this. And in order to get this, uh, have elevated levels of this building block and to get it into the NAD plus pathway, we need to remove the NNMT enzyme, which is blocking this entire process. So this fat loss process isn't just eat less. It's actually about removing cellular roadblocks to prevent your body from producing NAD+, which is the molecule required to run the fat burning machinery. That's why you hear people say, I diet, but I barely lose weight. I exercise, but I feel stuck. NMN doesn't create lasting changes. NAD+, gives a 48-hour boost, but then it disappears. Their entire system is jammed at the NNMT step. You fix that and the entire pathway wakes up. How do you fix it? How do you remove that block? There is a, a research um, chemical, which is not, it is not approved by the FDA, it has a lot of health benefits that I'm not recommending. Let's just say this is a hypothetical situation so that way no one comes at me, but do your own research here. This is uh, my personal intake. It's called 5-amino-1-MQ. Go look it up. And I don't know why this AI image is right here, but it is there. It is one of the few compounds that is specifically designed to inhibit not all, but most of NNMT. It removes the cellular bottleneck and allows your cells to produce higher NAD plus naturally from the inside of the cell. So it's not going to just be latched onto the outside of the cell. It's actually going to allow your body to produce it naturally, which is what you want. This is not about stimulating receptors or using shortcuts, but it's about fixing the root problem that keeps your fat burning system turned off. Now, if you pair this with these other precursors, you're going to have a really awesome system because now you're giving your body more raw materials to create more NAD plus and you're removing the roadblocks that actually do this. Now, what does it cost to actually uh, get involved in this? How expensive is it? Well, 5-amino-1-MQ isn't necessarily cheap. A bottle of about 60 capsules costs roughly around $180 
at this time, our um, online pharmacy at myrecomposition.com is not selling them just yet. So I'm not going to give a source because um, the problem with that is that I'd have to stay up to date on the sources because I don't know what the quality control of them would be like. You can do your own research on this. Um, but uh, it, you can look up the risk profile. There is a very low risk on this. You're literally blocking an enzyme. You think, okay, well, what could be some of the downside effects? Well, could I have elevated levels of B3? No, because you're not getting rid of all of it. And also there's other ways for your body to get rid of it. There are very rare instances where maybe people are a part of a group with uh, methylation issue, issues, et cetera, which would be a very rare thing. You would want to make sure that you know those kinds of things. I'm not recommending if you to, for you to take this, but- the point is, is that this would inhibit your NNMT and allow you to raise your NAD plus naturally. Now, uh, I will be doing more videos on 5-amino-1-MQ, and this is the first one introducing it, but I felt in order to properly introduce this on our channel, we had to go through the chain of command as to why it's so important, what people are doing, why those options are not good long-term solutions, and why this is such an incredible supplement um, for people to just take a look at. Anyways, I appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, like, and subscribe. And also any questions you have, ask them down in the comments. I love going through these. Um, it's been a lot of fun seeing people's response to my videos. Have an awesome day.